right now my table has just so much street food there is noodles pav bhaji and there is chaat everyone and welcome to sugar spice nice my name is shweta and in this video i'm exploring a restaurant called bombay street co this is located in atria mall in worli mumbai and i'm going to be enjoying all of the food here at a 50% discount i use the etigo app to book a table here and what happens with this app is that you get a discount based on your time of booking so i booked a table for 2 at 6:30 pm which is quite an off peak time and i ended up getting a 50% discount you can use this app for booking a table and getting great discounts in mumbai Pune and Bengaluru. So let's go in and start eating. So the reason I actually booked Bombay Street Co on the Eatigo app was because I was craving street food. So here I can see it all. I can see a chaat platter. I can see pav bhaji. I can see dosa. I can see noodles. They also have a few main course items. So like roti sabzi. But I think I'm going to stick to fulfilling my street food cravings here. The first thing that I've ordered is their chaat platter. For me, street food is um, a lot of it is chaat, and that's why I ordered this whole platter so that I can have more chaat. and let's see what all this platter has so it's got bhel puri sev puri there's also some dahi sev puri then there is tawa aloo and there is dahi vada this whole platter is looking absolutely delicious and i cannot wait to start digging in so i think i'm going to be starting with the bhel puri I think I'm eating bhel after ages, and this one is actually really good. They put a lot of imli chutney inside. It's adding a delicious flavor, and these little little bits of uh, pomegranate are also feeling amazing. Okay, next thing I'm going to be having is the tawa aloo. It's actually fried potato, tossed in some chutney and masalas, and it's topped with some sev. crunchy the outer part of the potato is beautifully crunchy and that same on top is actually not doing much because it's become quite soggy but the chutneys are giving it an amazing flavor it's literally just fried potato and chutneys and i think that's a simple yet a very very delicious combination okay next thing i'm going to be having is the sev puri <laughs> i couldn't find the puri only there was so much sev on top i absolutely love sev puri the sev puri is massively loaded can't pick it up without dropping a lot are you a sev puri or a bhel puri person leave that in the comments below great chutneys there's a lot of potato onion and they also have some tomato bits which normally i don't like in chaat but here it's quite little but it's adding that subtle flavor so i don't mind it we also have this dahi sev puri pune they call this spdp sev puri dahi puri so it's basically your sev puri regular with some dahi added on top the dahi adds a very different feel to a regular sev puri i think i prefer mine without any dahi okay now i'm going to be going in for the dahi vada firstly it's so like filled with dahi it's all come out i'm pretty sure when i put my spoon inside it's all going to ooze out are you guys ready for it <laughs> found myself a bite finally <laughs> the vada itself is a little bit hard but um, i think the chutneys overall in all of the charts i've really enjoyed the chutney for me what comes after chaat when it comes to street food is pav bhaji i absolutely love pav bhaji this one is just smelling divine right now the pavs seem to be buttered to perfection and there is a little blob of butter inside the bhaji as well so let's get some lemon going some onion let's mix it well so the bhaji is actually looking really really buttery it's not looking you know how street side pav bhaji looks absolutely red it's not looking like that at all mm. 
It's yum. It is so creamy. This is easily one of the creamiest uh, bhajis I've had. It's not too spicy. The whole flavor, it's not over the top. Like you can't feel too much pav bhaji masala or just too much chili. The flavors are perfectly balanced. I'm enjoying it. Time to go in for the noodles. These are the chili basil noodles and they're looking amazing. What would I do in life without Desi Chinese? It's yum. I'm loving this place. So, these noodles are so flavorful. Firstly, they do have a lot of chili. They are quite spicy. And the flavor of basil is actually quite prominent. But overall, I'm loving these noodles. There's also a lot of capsicum in them, cabbage. So that was it for my street food experience at Bombay Street Co. I thoroughly enjoyed everything that I ate. The noodles were absolutely delicious. And uh, I think I have a new place when it comes to like good noodles. The place actually has a pretty chilled out vibe. You can see how the interiors are. There are uh, bits and pieces that keep uh, reminding you of various aspects of Bombay. I really think you should come here and try out this place. And make sure you use eTigo whenever you come here to book a table. And you can reserve a table at no extra fee and also get some really good discounts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!